next one. Look at how good that looks. Look, it needs to be stylized. So the objective for today. Okay. <gasps> I love it. That looks really good. It's an experiment, that's the word. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. What are you doing here? It's cold. It's so cold in this house in the mornings. I have to sit in front of the radiator because I hate being cold. So while the house is heating up, this is where you'll find me. Good morning. Today we're gonna make some delicious yummy recipes together. But first I wanted to share really, really exciting news. And that is that the Android version of our app is finally finished. So you can now also find it on the Play Store. Thanks so much to our Android friends for being patient with us, for being excited with us. I'm so excited to see you interacting with our app. We built this app because we wanted to make nurturing your body on a plant-based lifestyle as easy and delicious as possible. So in the app, you can find over 1,000 recipes at this point, and there's new recipes added every single weekday. There's an advanced search and filtering feature so that you can find exactly the recipe that you're looking for. You can add your own custom recipes too, so it starts to feel like your own little custom cookbook. There's also a super convenient grocery list feature that I honestly just could not go to the grocery store without any. Anymore. And we've developed a nurse feature that's like having a dietitian in your pocket. It helps you plan your meals for optimal nutrition and we've made a video about it so you can watch that here. And I'm just really, 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 really excited for you guys to interact with it. To everybody who's been using our app for these last few months on iOS, we've gotten over 1,000 five-star reviews at this point and I can't put into words how much that means to us. Like we built the whole app ourselves at Pickup Limes with our small team. Robin has coded it all himself and we couldn't have possibly imagined that it would be received this overwhelmingly positively. So I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much. It means more than you could know. If you wanna try out the app for yourself, you can get one week for free. I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description box below. We're also doing a massive giveaway, bigger than the one we did last time. You can win either a one-year subscription to our app or lifetime access to the app. But if you wanna learn more about that, check out the end of the video. For now, let's make some breakfast. I wanna make some French toast for breakfast. I had this so much growing up, but it's traditionally made with eggs and we're of course gonna make a plant-based version of it. This recipe is in our app where it says that it makes five servings altogether, but it's just me and Robin having this today. So I'm gonna scale that down to two servings and you'll see that the ingredients adjust automatically so you don't have to do any kind of math or anything like that. And now I'm gonna enter into my favorite part of the app, which is this little button on the bottom, which I like to call the cook along mode. And here you're gonna see that there's a photo for every single step and the ingredients to accompany the step are listed just underneath it. So you don't have to go searching for it or anything. So every single step is highlighted that way. First up, let's make the batter. The spices in this are all really warm and inviting. There's cinnamon and ground ginger and cardamom. And this is optional, but turmeric helps to give it that classic golden color that you'd traditionally get from eggs. You really want to use stale, day-old bread for this recipe, otherwise it's gonna get soggy. And if you are slicing it yourself, try to cut them into pretty thick, robust pieces. Look. It's very bright. I can't even see. We're heading to the studio right now to finish up a project that is long overdue, but I think I have some video footage of like the background story behind this. Let me show you. We have been making so many recipes lately and the studio kitchen has kind of been feeling a little bit cramped. But today we're getting a kitchen ins extension, inst a kitchen extension installed. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. What I mean when I see, what I see, what I feel, when I dream, when I be, I'm a freak, what up? Oh, what up? Everybody look at me when I'm free, when I feel, what I see, when I do it, I'm a freak, what up? We're looking for a new oh, kitchen up? island for our new extended kitchen. So what we got, that one's really nice. Give up the drops, I like the surface. Got what, what, we got the gold, the body, it's like a really the nice character. Really hope it's the right Yay! <laughs> hey! Right? It's just a job. 
giant cutting board. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. It's just exactly what we needed. And I love this table so much. It still also needs a bit of work. I wanna hang some plants up there so it looks a bit like the other part of the kitchen, but we'll get to that. So this vase has been like this for about a year now, which has been nice because we've been able to use it still, but it needs to be stylized. So the objective for today, I wanna hang some plants against that back wall and we're gonna hang a rack over top of this kitchen island. So when we got this rack, it was very rusted. I'm not sure if you can see it. So we had to kind of like take the rust off and then paint it with a little bit of like transparent paint. But now it looks all nice and it feels smooth. So we start with that one then? Yeah. With the rack? Yeah sure. yeah, sure. Give me an idea of how high you want to have it. Oh, that's a good question. I have no idea. Okay, do you want to help me see if this is the right length? Yeah. This goes... Oh! <laughs> Nobody sees that. No, no, no. Other way around. And then in the... Yes. What do you think? This is from next video. We already filmed it. Okay, I think this wine stick could be nice here. Sorry, it's a grape vine. Wine stick. This is gonna take a while because we have to like untangle it. It's coming together. Oh my God, I love it. Why did it take us so long to do this? Now I want to still decorate the space. Let's clean it up a bit, put some things on the countertop, hang things off of the rack. Maybe we can even make lunch here, on this side for once. Yeah? That looks so good. Does it? Yeah. All right, the first time filming in this part of the kitchen. We're hungry, I'm gonna make some lunch. I think one of my favorite parts about the app is just seeing you guys interacting with the recipes and this particular chickpea flautas recipe has gotten a load of five-star reviews already. So this is what I wanna make for lunch today. Traditional Mexican flautas are made with some kind of meat filling, but our plant-based spin on them uses beans, and we make them super flavorful by adding adobo sauce and nutritional yeast for a cheesy taste and some spices too. We have five common allergens in our database where if we can offer you a substitute for it, we will. So for example, this recipe uses tortillas that contains gluten. If you click the gluten icon, if you see a little swap indicator, it'll take you to the ingredient in that particular list that contains gluten and it'll offer up a swap that you can use instead. The word flauta in Spanish means flute, so that's what we're gonna do with this mixture right now. We're gonna add it to some tortillas and then we're gonna roll it up into a flute shape. The amount of filling for the amount of tortilla doesn't make sense. It makes me feel like I messed something up. Maybe you'll be better at reading the ingredient list than I am. Turns out it says right there in the ingredient list, use medium tortillas. I very obviously used large tortillas. So now I'm gonna scale the filling ingredients up so that it fits. So traditionally, flautas are fried, deep fried, but I'm gonna bake these ones, and while they're in the oven, I'm going to make a salsa and an avo dip. That looks really good. Come on now, don't that look good? That looks amazing. Is there any my own plate for this though? I, oh yeah, plates, yeah. yeah. Here you go. Thank you. It's my click. So I'm supposed to just dunk it in? Yeah. It would probably be actually easier if I cut these in half first, but... Oh, they're not even there! So, another half? I don't know. I'm really full. But I do want it, yeah. See you at dinner then. Bye. We're about to start making dinner right now and I have inputted the meals that I've eaten today into the nourish part of the app. But what I'm realizing is I haven't yet collected any dark leafy greens yet today. And this is why this tool is so incredibly helpful. 
It's not about collecting all the orbs perfectly over the course of the day or meticulously tracking calories and macros. It's just about being more mindful. And now that I know this information, I can make sure that somewhere in our dinner tonight, there's some kind of dark leafy green to make sure that my day is more nutritionally balanced. Now, this is also super cool. You can actually click into the food group for dark leafy greens. And there at the bottom, we present to you recipes within the app that contain some kind of dark, le dark leafy green. So you can just scroll through here and choose something that looks good. I I already know that I want to make the palak tofu for dinner tonight. So I'm just going to add that into my day and I'm going to see that I've now collected pretty much all of the orbs for each of the food groups. It's not 100% perfect, but that's okay. That's never the intention. It's just about doing the best that we can. And because we've collected most of these orbs, if I now click into the DNA icon that's at the center of the cell, I can see that I'm hitting my nutrient targets for most of the nutrients. What I'm realizing is that I've made the last two meals. And I was wondering if you want to make this one because I really want to film this one. Ooh, okay. Yeah? The cook-along photos are very clear, you'll manage, but I have some like a cinematic vision for how I want to film this. Oh, cool. Yeah? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Let me see palak tofu. Be honest though, I just said cinematic vision. Does that sound really yeah, it sounds uh, like, like I'm full of myself? Yeah, it's going to be the next Star Wars. This, uh... <laughs> I honestly, I... I don't like filming food stuff at night, but it just gets dark so early. Yeah. But I have a vision for how I can make this hopefully look nice. So know. it's an experiment. It's an experiment. That's okay. the word. Cinematic experiment. Thank you. Let's just take a ride along the bay. We don't need to work. We can sit around and play. I've been waiting for so long to get away. Baby, don't hold back. All you gotta do is. <laughs> That's the behind the scenes, the backstage. This is the cinematic vision right here. I've been counting moments from you. I've been catching signs from above. All I wanna do is satisfy you. Maybe all you want is to be satisfied with me. I'm putting a GoPro in this. Blender. Blender, box, cup holder, I don't care. Okay, we need to do this more. I love this. This igloo of rice. Igloo of rice? <laughs> yeah. The rice igloo. We're going to something called Glow. It's a yearly festivity in Eindhoven where they light up the entire city. Eindhoven is the city we live in. They light it up with all these different kind of like exhibitions, would you say? Light art. Light art. So we're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you my As promised, we're gonna do another giveaway. This time it's gonna be even bigger. Last time we did the giveaway just for iOS users. So this time, if you're an Android user, you've got a higher chance of winning. We're gonna gift a one-year subscription of the app to 10 Android and five iOS users here on YouTube. All you have to do to enter to win is to comment a robot emoji if you're an Android user, an Apple emoji if you're an iOS user, and comment your favorite feature of the app. Now to make the offer extra sweet, if you're already subscribed to our app, even if you're in that one week 
week free trial period and you win, we're instead gonna grant you lifetime access to the app. And it's our way of just saying thank you for supporting us and for being with us from so early on. We will announce the winners on a YouTube community post. We will not be responding to comments telling you you won. If someone does that, it's a scammer, it's not us. We'll also never be asking for personal information. And if you wanna increase your chances of winning, we're also gonna do a giveaway on Instagram. You can also nominate your friends to win over there too, which is pretty cool. To everybody who's tried out the app, I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart and from our whole team, thank you so much. Like you have no idea how much it means. If you have tried out the app, if you wanna leave a review for us on the App Store, the Play Store, it would mean so, so, so much as well, especially in these early days. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for making our recipes. Thanks for being interested in what we put out there. It means the world. All right, Thick Up Limes signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.